Okay, hi everybody, my name is John Lincoln with Ignite Visibility, and today I'm going to talk to you about something that's super important, a lot of people are getting behind it, and that's transferring your website to HTTPS. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about how to do it, some of the technical stuff that not a lot of people know. Um, I've transferred a lot of sites at this point. Our company, Ignite Visibility, is transferring websites every single day, so I'm happy to be able to share some insight with you on this semi-complicated process. So let's uh, dive into it. First thing, what is HTTPS? Well, HTTPS um, is a more secure version of your website, right? So hypertransfer protocol, right, H HTTP, um, secure socket layer. So that allows you to have a more secure version. And the reason that we want to do that is because Google is giving preference to sites um, that are on HTTPS, the ranking of just a little bit higher, but also Chrome and Firefox are going to be showing warnings and, and kind of downgrading sites um, who are not secure, right? There's just a lot of reasons to do it. So especially if you're on an e-commerce site, but really all websites, this is kind of the way uh, that the internet is going, right? A more secure experience, right? right? Which I think we can all appreciate. So in order to do this, you've got to do kind of seven things. And, and these seven things are, uh, some of them are more substantial than others. But the first thing that you need to do is get your security certificate. That can range anywhere from, you know, tens to hundreds of dollars, depending on the service provider that you're getting it through. Um, but the first thing that you need to do is buy that security certificate and make sure that that's associated with your domain, okay? And you can generally do that through your domain name provider, your hosting company. Um, the second thing you're gonna wanna do is start thinking about the transfer, right? So generally, you're going to create the HTTPS version of your website, okay? And then you're gonna 301 redirect all the URLs on the HTTP version to the HTTPS version, okay? So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have a permanent redirect going to the HTTPS version. Um, you need to update all of your internal linking so all of the links within your code can no longer go to the HTTP version. Now they need to go to the HTTPS version. Right? A lot of people um, will have a relative URL um, instead of an absolute URL um, to make this a little bit easier. Other people do find and replace to go through and try to find all the HTTP and change those to HTTPS no matter how you do it or you know, whether you do it manually, find and replace or through a plugin, it's got to be done. Okay? Um, next thing, you got to update your images. So the images need to be served from a secure uh, site too, right, from a secure URL. Otherwise, you're going to see that little broken warning label up there, and you need to have safe fonts, right? So, so safe fonts. Every single thing on the page has to be secure, otherwise you're going to get that security warning. And Google's come out and said that in the future, not right now, but in the future, if you're on HTTPS and you're getting a warning, that site might not get that ranking boost, right? That was something that was, that was kind of recently said, okay? Um, you're also going to need to set up the new domain in the Google Search Console. Now, you don't need to do that for Bing because Bing, Bing looks at HTTPS and HTTP as, as pretty much similar, but in the Google Search Console, you need to create an entirely new domain in there, right? And then what you're going to do is you're going to submit your old sitemap. They're going to see that 301 redirect. They're going to see um, that, that redirect to the new sitemap. They're going to crawl all those URLs and also, another thing you can do is submit those URLs individually, right? So you submit your old sitemap, it crawls all those URLs, it sees all the 301 redirects, it starts establishing the HTTPS site. Soon, Google sees that, okay, all the signals are pointing to HTTPS, um, and it starts to rank that website for you, okay? So a couple things you can do on the testing side once you've done all of this stuff, right? You can run a page speed test. That can help you because you know HTTPS can be just a little bit slower. You also might want to run it through the mobile testing tool, and you might want to put it through a page uh, security test too to make sure that everything validates correctly. Okay, um, and you can also just kind of manually click around from one page to the other, and you can make sure that your certificate is validating that you're not getting any errors, whether you're in Chrome or, or Firefox. Okay. And that's generally a good thing to do, just to make sure nothing looks broken and everything's correct. Okay? Now, other things you can do is you can Screaming Frog the entire website, right? If you're not familiar with Screaming Frog, it's a staple point SEO tool. 
And what you want to do is you want to screaming frog the entire old site, screaming frog the entire new site, and make sure that everything is throwing a 301 status code that goes to the HTTPS version. You don't have any internal links that go to HTTP. Um, all the redirects are correct. You're not seeing anything that's odd in that screaming frog file. I highly recommend that you do this, okay? Um, also, now Google came out and they said you don't have to update the external links, right? So if you, on your Facebook page, have a link to your HTTP site in the bio area or on your Twitter profile, they said you don't necessarily have to update that, but I'm recommending that all clients go out there and they change all the external links that they can control, right? I did this for our own site. I've done it for client sites. I think it gives you a little bit more of a boost because Google and, and everybody else doesn't need to go through that redirect. So I highly recommend that you go out and you redirect, um, excuse me, you, you, you put in place um, the HTTPS version for the external links, not for every single thing. If you're a big site, you've got millions of links, hundreds of thousands of links, it's gonna be impossible. But um, otherwise, um, it's good just to do those ones that you can control, okay? Now, after you've done all this, I recommend that everybody keep an eye on Bing Webmaster Tools, Google Search Console. You should start to see that level of index pages rising up, right? And on, on the HTTPS version, right? You should, if you're looking in SEMrush, you should be able to um, do like an include um, for the HTTPS version of your site and see all those pages start to rank and go in place of the HTTP version, right? If everything's working correctly. So as you're moving on, you're gonna watch rankings, you're gonna watch traffic, and at this point, you know, hopefully, congratulations, you've, you've learned everything you need to move to HTTPS, you can go and do it yourself. We're helping a lot of clients transfer this stuff on our end, and we've seen some great results. Um, so good luck to you during your HTTPS process. Have a great day.